What's good, superstars? Back with another VV and Cryptoids video. We did it. You got superstar Joe. You got superstar Robin the villain. How's it going, Rob? <laughs> oh, the windmills. <laughs> this is a double header, double video, uh, two and one. You're getting two projects for the price of one. Uh, I guess it's a little bit more than that, even. But uh, guys, if you are new here, do not forget. Whoa. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Don't forget, become a superstar. Smash the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell notification so you know whenever we post about your favorite project, this is going to be a good one. I promise you, you're going to want to watch the entire thing. Um, also, you can become a superstar. VIP, $2.99 a month. Hit the join button underneath the video. Nice little star next to your name when you put a comment. Makes you look official. You're going to level up. The better you are, the more you can brag about uh, what level you are. Access to drop spreadsheets, price prediction spreadsheets. I mean, our spreadsheets will never disappear on you. Uh, I promise you that much. Also, first dibs on merch and star in the universe every single month. Um, congratulations to the Crypto Cookie, who is our winner from May, June. Only a couple of weeks away. And we're going to be giving away another one. Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, if you want to follow us. Discord in the description. We got Cryptoids. We got VV channels. We got all the channels you need. Poetry, every single one on the Discord. Go there and hang out with us. And um, we also have a P.O. box if you want to send us something. Become a superstar. Hall of Famer. Rob, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? I'm good. I am hyped for this video. I mean, we were we were talking a little bit. We're like, you know what? we got to stop talking. we got to do it on the video uh, and get our thoughts out organically. Well, yeah, I think this is going to be a very fun video, interesting video. I would love to hear the feedback, so make sure you guys comment below. Um, but uh, I think we're getting to the daily news first. Yep. So let's jump in. We got Cryptoid and VV Daily News here. A little quick ones. Uh, the the Infinity Gauntlet for the Thanos airdrops is officially over. So if you got in, um, the numbers are going to be capped now for whatever they were. I think Gomi Daily Burn put out a final count. Um, you can always count on him to have accurate, up-to-date stuff. Um, so go check him out on Twitter. But uh, now you can still craft. I mean, it's still open. You can still craft. But now you just won't get the Thanos airdrops uh, because that deadline has passed yesterday at midnight. Yeah, that's pretty cool that uh, the crafting is now finally over. It's a historic thing that happened on the VV app. Uh, we both crafted, and maybe we will see in the future if there's ways that they can bring utility now to this staple item or artifact from the uh, from the Marvel uh, MCU. So, If that's the case, I'll have to buy one because I sold mine. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah that's right. <laughs> one, of, one of one, uh, Sue Storm. <laughs> We showed this one off uh, last week, a bunch of different ver versions of Sue Storm uh, yeah. throughout the year. It's pretty, pretty cool for a one one I actually saw a post somewhere today. Somebody <laughs> owns nine one ones Like, that's their thing. They just wow, keep that's crazy. buying the one of ones I mean, that's cool strategy. It's different, right? Well, they're obviously a big believer that scarcity will matter. But sometimes I wonder, though, like, is, is something is too scarce not a good thing? You know, like, what kind of utility are you going to get from having super, super scarce items? I mean, it's kind of cool that you can flex it. And I just don't know. There's really, there's no one's ever talked about the one of ones getting any kind of special utility. So it, I think it's your play. If you believe scarcity is everything in this space, then yeah, mm -hmm. I guess the ones of ones make sense. But if you believe in utility, then maybe they're not the best way to go. Yeah, it's true. I mean, and here's a here here's a topic for another video that we'll have to do. But uh, I mean, VV could take the idea if they want. When you got Funko Pops, they have these um, all white skins so they basically get the exact same pop so like i got indiana jones here say you got this guy and he's just completely white it's called a prototype why not start doing like variants of existing collectibles as one of ones like then yeah. you used to have the interest and now it's a little bit different i think you're right though i think uh we i've never seen one of these on the market to be even able to buy them yeah. um i think there has to be much like a lot a lot more dropped before we start to actually realize that they're there yeah um, just the way the marketplace works right yeah, you know what's so funny? I have a VV Reddit uh, posts that get fed to my phone just randomly. Mm -hmm. And actually just today, I got one fed to my phone about, hey, what what's everyone's thoughts on the the one-of-one -one, uh, market? Anybody uh, involved in that? What does anybody think about that? And some guy just responded just like, yeah, you, we can, we both can't touch that market anyway, so why even bother worrying about it? That was, <laughs> that was the only response that was there. But it's just funny that we just had that conversation and it's being talked about right now as well on the socials. Yeah, you got to think as more people, if more people come, um, then that portion of people that is more well to do and uh, can afford that stuff should grow as well and yeah, create a, a marketplace over there. Um, we're getting a comic as well. This is on Tuesday. It is first appearance of Ultimatum. So okay. Spider-Man number 10, Miles Morales. Mm -hmm. So pretty cool cover work. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. And that's, that's the movie. Uh, we're going to jump over to Cryptoids. 
<laughs> this is actually pretty funny. Like, so I wanted to show this. I'm not going to do all the news because a lot of their stuff is retweeting like Juju, which yeah. is actually going crazy in the cryptos universe yeah. right now. But yeah, um, I wanted to show DB Crypto X. All right. He uh, he posts his, his his land. He lands a legendary Luke. So a similar one we landed on uh, on the crypto stream. Uh, and he's like, now if I can only get lucky and grab an ultra grail. So uh, obviously he, he might not understand that he believes in Juju, but he's he's speaking about it, being getting lucky to That's land right. the Ultra Grail. That's We're gonna right. scroll up. This was on <laughs> this was on June tenth. We're yeah. gonna scroll up, and this is thirteen hours ago. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's I'll go. Speed it up here. Here you go. He videotapes everything because he knows he knows that if he gets it, the video is <laughs> gonna be worth it. It's gonna go viral if he gets it. Rob, this this is more insane than you can even imagine. Like. First of all, okay. This Ultra was a 77, Grail. right? Number this 77. Yeah, Ultra yeah, Grail yeah. Beta. And the guy shout had out, no idea. Shout out to Jay Clemente for letting him know because yeah. he's lucky there's no marketplace right now. But I mean, number 77, Ultra Grail. Yeah. There's only 100. So 77 is your only shot at touching 1977 the year, right? I thought it was just so funny that he didn't know. He didn't know <laughs> He didn't know what he had, the, the whole mid number game. But anyways, no, yeah, really, it's pretty really good. Funny, good, though. good juju, really good juju. Funny. And you'll see it. And uh, if you haven't already, there's a, a contest to win the number 63 Luke. Uh, if you are into that and you want to try and have an Ultra Grail, there is an Ultra Grail club now. So um, you should go into this. You can register with the link on the, their pinned tweet. Yeah. Uh, jump over to ours. Double Quill. Shout out to her. Um, very, very, very uh, active superstar. Also has her own blog uh, on Medium. So Definitely go check it out. Today's was really fun. It was about uh, <clears throat> some some maybe words that are a little bit overused in this marketplace. So if you haven't checked, I'm not going to spoil it. I want you to go read the blog and maybe give her some feedback, respond, and uh, let her know what you thought about the blog. Yeah, Superstar uh, Double Quill is always in our comments too, so give her some support for sure. This was actually right before uh, before I the stream. It. So uh, Sir Thrifts a lot ended up max minting. So we had to we had to let everybody know um, yeah. that he max minted, and one of the replies. To the max mint actually got me going <laughs> i'm gonna click in here and uh craig davis is like why who cares <laughs> I'm like, well if you max mint you get a special drop uh if you dm the ceo by tomorrow then he's like okay five more <laughs> yeah. five more yeah so, so i mean funny. he did it and then someone else did it too uh in response I, yeah. i'm not sure if it was season three og or someone else did it but, amazing uh, it, it was just funny. I found it pretty hilarious. Everyone's just DJing hard right now into the Max Minty. <laughs> yeah, that's him doing that. That special uh, airdrop. Special airdrop. Old Papa Oz hit the grill again. I mean, everyone's everyone's yeah. getting the juju. They don't even know. They don't even know yet about the juju. But uh, congrats to everybody who's been landing uh, amazing, amazing cryptoids. Um, yep. Yeah. So, I mean, I think that's it. We can jump that's into it. the topic because I think we're going to have a lot to say about it. Uh, yeah. So earlier than normal. But um, we are inspired today. Um, by a superstar, um, someone that we've met in person, uh, who always has uh, thoughts about about uh, the marketplace, about the future of the company, and all of this. Uh, so shout out to Wes. Um, we did we did see your interaction about uh, about uh, this advertising that we have seen seen happening. Um, so let's let's show the thread here. Um, let me make it a little bit bigger for you guys to see. But uh, <clears throat> vvnftcomics.eth. Posts. I wonder why VV official doesn't have people like I Justine working with them. This is good for the space overall, but is VV being left behind? And then Randy responds, I've gone over this before. VV currently doesn't have to spend five figures per person on advertising. It's a gamble because you have no idea if it'll pay off. Crypto has paid I Justine her fee and how much of their new Star Wars NFTs did they sell? Uh, and then Wes responds, Randy, we need new users. Have you seen the marketplace? It can't be the same people buying and selling to each other. Uh, until the liquidity is zero. So we got a lot to say about this. Um, I'll say something quickly and then uh, I'll let Rob talk. But uh, the first thing I want to say here is that I think that Vivi does have to spend the money on some of this advertising. They have to participate and show that they are leaders in the space um, when it comes to getting the name out there, getting the word out there. I mean, <clears throat> we found Vivi through Andre Jick, who was a, a prominent um, financial YouTuber at the time. Uh, I think still he's, he's still doing doing it pretty often now. Uh, but, uh, I think that, that to me, since we found VV first, it's always been the bread and butter of our channel. It's always been what we've looked to as the number one project. Obviously they have the most IP right now too. So like the work, the, the writing is on the wall there, but I mean, if people are going to find this space and they're going to find it through cryptoids to those people who find cryptoids first, they're going to be thinking like, okay, cryptoids is big dog. 
And then, oh, there's this other side project, VV, that might have some might have some legs, but I haven't seen them advertise anywhere. I haven't seen any of that. So I do think that it's necessary for them to do that. Also, in terms of numbers of sales that Cryptoise has, nobody knows except for the team because it's not pr public information. Um, and I'm sure that when she did put out her posts, they had a lot of new signups and they probably had a lot of new sales. They have a huge collection here. And right now, VV drops 50,000 of something. It's not selling out anyway. So um, I think that... I think that crypto has probably has sold way more of these crypt crypto cube just because of their marketing and because of their community engagement that they've been doing or the ceo is actually taking dms from people in in the community i think that that has gone a long way for trust and all of this stuff and i think that uh, they probably sold a lot more than anybody expects at this point yeah i mean <clears throat> the thing is is that and of course we respect randy's opinion yeah. he's saying is the is the benefit cost ratio worth it to vv to do this and mm -hmm. I don't see why it wouldn't be. And I think Wes, you know, he, 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 we know superstar Wes is always in our comments. Sometimes he's very angry with us. Sometimes he's very happy with us, but I think he's right in this sense. And we've made many videos about marketing and VV that there's really no reason not to market. I think, I think VV could do very well if they marketed more. And we've talked about this extensively and it's been chatter in the community quite a bit, but in influencer marketing is exactly how we found the project. And I mean, I just seen his massive 7 million sub YouTube channel. Cryptoids is doing the work for the VV fam. That guy who got the Ultra Grail didn't even know he had 77. He didn't even know what that meant. Why? Because he didn't come from VV. He came from somewhere else. Clearly, he's interested in Disney or Star Wars NFTs. So crypto is out there and we know they're Mattel backed and we suspect they have a really big budget to do what they need to do. They have all in-house staff. We know VV is actually subbing all their stuff out around the world, which I'm not saying is any worse quality, but when you have in-house staff, you have a little bit more control. They have all these guys salaried and they come to work every day and they're dedicated only to their project, right? So you have in, this in-house staff, they have this money backing from Mattel and they're an investing it. And they're going on, they're doing these programs now. They talk about the ambassador program. They got I Justine on board. I don't think they're stopping. I think they're going to go and they're going to start through that marketing. They're going to start bringing people who have no idea about VV or cryptoids into the space. And clearly, if they come into cryptoids, they probably like Disney NFTs or they are interested in Star Wars NFTs. Well, who else has that? There's only one other, VV. So if you're part of the VV fam... <clears throat> There's absolutely no reason for you not to support Cryptoys because Cryptoys is doing the work for VV. People will find VV because of Cryptoys, just like how people found Cryptoys because of VV, just like how people found HRO because of VV, just like how people caught, found VV because of HRO. It's all interconnected. And with the backing that Cryptoys has, with the similarity in the IPs that they have, it's inevitable that those that come into the Cryptoys space may eventually look elsewhere and also look to find Vivi because they also have Star Wars NFTs. So you don't have to back them financially. You might be like, I like Cryptoys, but I'm not ready to buy any kind of holocrons. You can retweet their stuff. You can help get the word out there because, and you obviously are going to do it for Vivi too, because it's not truly competition for Vivi in the sense that people coming to the space are going to then choose cryptoids over VV. What will likely happen is very much like many people who are watching this video right now, they will start supporting one project and then dabble in more as they go. And then you have a network of projects, just like Joe and I currently on our discord, we got cryptoids, VV, Solware, and McFarland. These are products that we're backing because we believe in them. What do you think, Joe? No, I think you, I think you nailed it on the head. And I think this, like you said, it goes for other projects as well. I mean, we've seen it with HRO. They have the actual trading card game or, or collecting and they have the mint number on the card. It's like physical with a mint number and then matching onto the, um, the digital. So they got the hybrid stuff. Um, so that's a different dynamic. So that's something that people who are into that might really enjoy. So if you see HRO doing something groundbreaking, retweet their stuff, share it, let people know. You don't have to buy an HRO card, but let people know about it. I mean, the, the, the great example is with the iJustine stuff that we're just showing now is a lot of people know iJustine. There's 7 million followers on, on YouTube for iJustine. So they might not have ever heard of Vivi, all right? They might have never heard of it, but you might be common friends with them uh, or whatever. If you retweet it and you put a different hashtag and somebody finds it, they're going to be like, you know, I like iJustine. What's this about? And they might watch it. So you, if you have not retweeted that video where she's talking about the space, 
you're doing this yourself a disservice and you're hoping that Vivi goes to zero because you really don't care about getting the word out there. Or you're just selfish. You want to collect all the collectibles for yourself, which I get. I understand it because now opportunity is there. But at what price if we do not start to push the word of the space out there and get it going? We got Apple glasses coming in six months here. So now is the time, crunch time. Get the word of the space out there. We need that to be a success. We need that for Vivi to be a success. Um, also, there's other groundbreaking things like Palm just dropped animated comic covers. I mean, before that, they only had scan covers, but now they have uh, animated covers. So different, new, something that Vivi doesn't have, share it out. Let people know. It's cool. They also have something where now you can get, if, if you land a drop and the, the, depending on the rarity that you get, you get whitelisted for an, another comic. So it's, it's a different dynamic. Utility. Utility is coming to this stuff. So it's something that I think that the way that the Vivi fam looks at at different projects is like competition. It's going to kill their bags. It's going to ruin their bags. They got news for you. Your bags are already ruined. All right. So now let's turn it around and let's start to pump everything up to bring our bags back. All right. Because uh, the only way it does it is all together. If we, if we start to go against each other and, and all this stuff and everyone's finger pointing, calling everybody scams, then you're going to hear people talking about how people are scams and nobody's going to want to join the space. Like that's, that's crypto 101 right now. Nobody trusts it because there's all these things that go downhill. Um, but if everybody in these communities support each other, kind of build up this this NFT digital collectible grouping and just build it up as a positive space that kind of separates itself from the crypto space. And I think that that's where Vivi <clears throat> has been trying to go with the collector by heart. That's where crypto is going. They they don't really talk about the, the NFT aspects of it when they're talking about their advertising. It's more digital collectible stuff. But if you want it, you, you actually own it. And that's kind of like the caveat. But uh, I think that you have to. You have to, if you want your VV stuff to succeed, you have to support other projects, not financially like Rob said, but just support the innovation that they bring to the space. And maybe you never know who is going to find the space. Like what if someone else, a celebrity, anybody who has a big following finds a space because of something that got retweeted 7,000 times by the VV fan, by other people. Uh, and then they start to take interest and then they start to do their own kind of promotion you never know right they might reach out to, to, to the <clears throat> team to vivi uh or to cryptoids or whoever and do that so i think uh that is how the space has to move and i think that's maybe one of the only ways that we start to get um a reversal here is if they start if, if the fans start to blend there's, I guess there's, the there's a massive lack of education to the average joe okay mm -hmm. They could become superstar Joes if they get a little bit of education. When I was on the live stream with I Justine, who, by the way, she shouted the superstars out. But when I was on the live stream and I was looking at some of the comments, I'm like, what? Like, the people have absolutely no idea what is coming. They don't, they have not envisioned or researched the connection between digital collectibles and the utility that will come from it. Um, so that's number one. They're like, why am I spending 40 gems on something? that I can't do anything with. They don't realize where this is going, the roadmap. Um, and then even on the VV side with the VV verse, like they don't understand that these collectibles, although they may just be collectibles, they don't understand that the space as a whole may give utility, may give utility to these collectibles. And we know that on the VV side, some of the early collectibles, there's already been a statement that this is pretty much what they will be. And that utility may be, uh, you know, AR, utility of placing them in a space whereas cryptoids has had a little bit of a different idea with gamification um and then we know with the vverse there might be some new stuff there too so both projects have the gamification part of the roadmap both projects want to be able to be compatible fully with the vision pro and these people on i justines come from a physical collectible background and from an, a box opening background of unboxing physical things and they're like nfts what are those those are scams NFTs, what is this? Why am I spending the money for this? What can it do for me? And people were actually shaming I Justine, saying, What's wrong with you, I Justine? How much did they pay you to do this work? And what they don't understand is that when you understand the space, someone at her level isn't going to just back them for the sake of backing them. She clearly understands the vision of where this is going and she's backing it willingly. It's not about getting paid. She doesn't need to get paid to do this. She already has plenty of following and plenty of influence. She's taking the project on because she sees where it's going with the vision pro, which I'm sure when it comes out, she will be doing an unboxing and she'll be doing a review. And who knows, maybe her review will actually include crypto since she's officially signed on by them. It looks like at this point, so that education of these people coming into the space, they don't know about Vivi and they don't know about cryptos. The more you do 
the more the word gets out, the more people come into the space, the more people will do not just both these products, all of the projects, depending on what fits their palette and what they like, right? So in the end, if Vivi is unwilling to do the advertisement, which they are, because they've done very, they have done some collaborations with AMC. Remember that? Yeah. They had a utility to AMC. You buy a movie ticket, you get, you get whatever they started with crafting. But we have not seen by any means a campaign through, you know, influencers who are serious. Like we're not talking about small fry. We're talking about people with millions of subs. We haven't seen that level of advertisement from Vivi for their own reasons right now they're just not willing to do it they're probably wait, waiting to develop the app a little bit more where they have a little bit more certainty in the benefit cost potentially so since cryptoys is doing it support it because there's your influence if i just is doing something about cryptoys go on there i literally see people's name with vv in it they go <laughs> on to they go on to the discord of of cryptoys and then their name season three og it comes from that comes from vv right yeah. season three comes from vv but there's people who actually have vv in their names and they're on that project so you get that blending of the projects so you might as well support cryptoys since they have the financial backing right now and the willingness to do marketing just continuously grow the space why wait till it gets developed people who are willing to jump in early will come in early just like us and people who are not willing will sit on the sidelines and maybe watch list it and when they feel comfortable, then they will join. But if they never hear about it, then they might never be interested. No, you're right. And uh, yeah, it's exactly that. It's it's uh, if if people don't hear about it, if if we're not getting the word out, we're doing ourselves a disservice. Now, you, I mean, everyone talks about their bag. That's the that's the number one thing here. What's going to turn your bag around on VV? What's going to bring your bags up? You've been watching your bag for a year, two years. Some people. And you've seen one one direction. Now we we are here. We want to help push it the other way. Um, and I think the other projects that come into the space that have some serious backing, the money to be able to do some of these things, because we don't know. We don't know VV's financial situation of where they've spent their money. Maybe the reason that we're getting all these upgrades is they've actually spent some money on the development team, and and maybe that's where all their money is going. Maybe the VV versus real expensive to do. Like we don't know. We don't know the breakdown of their company. Um, but we do know what is happening and when it comes to this type of marketing. Um, and, and like you said, there's the VV fam all over the Cryptoist project. So if you're if you're promoting the actual project or, or just letting people know, like you said, educating people about the space by sharing something that they might be familiar with, I Justine video or uh, any other type of advertisement. It doesn't have to be a Cryptoist advertisement. It could be any other project that's doing this type of major advertising. If you are able to share that out or support it or let your friends know or whatever um, and explain and educate. That's that's what the space needs. It needs the education and it needs new users, new people, not just the same people like Wes said in that original tweet. We need to start to see some new people coming into the space. And I think having that influence, uh, that's how we got in. Rob mentioned it earlier. That's how we got into the space. Uh, and we wouldn't have probably even heard about it if I didn't watch that video. So um I wouldn't have been on Disney Twitter, like looking into it. It's a, it's, a, it's a bunch of things that wouldn't have happened if we were not influenced by another influencer. Yeah, uh, and we, we, we're we speaking directly to the VV fan because they were here earlier for the last over a year and a half, two years, right? Yeah. Crypto's fam now is a little bit new when it comes to that blending. But I just want to point out that then it also applies the other way around, which is that if you yeah. are new into Cryptoys, then there's only benefits from also promoting a VV project, which also has star wars and other ip that is similar yeah. to to uh to, to crypto so if you're in the space it doesn't matter which projects you support it can only benefit you to support all of them even if it's not financially even if it's through retweeting commenting you know if i just is going to do a live stream you go and you make some comments then you know if the, if the vv want if vv does an ama you go in, you support them. Like you could just support the projects in any different means. And I think I cut you off there, Joe. Did you want to finish your thought? No, no, that, that was okay. I, I pretty much got what I wanted to say. Okay. Well, yeah. let us know below, guys, what your thoughts are. I mean, we had a lot to say in, in today's video. Uh, so let us know. Comment below. Do you guys think that it makes sense for those who are part of the VV fam to support other projects? Or do you think that by supporting other projects, you're worried that you're going to actually lessen the support of the project that you currently 
uh, sports. Do you agree with us or do you disagree with us? I think that that's a good point. Like, it's, Are you going to lessen the support that your current project gets or are you going to light a fire under them to get them to kind of bring their ballpark up to the same level and uh, and, and push it that forward that way? I mean, Vivi's already got a ton going for it. It's got a bunch of IP. And if people find Cryptoids, they're going to find Vivi. Like we said, it's so well integrated with the community already. <laughs> Um, but uh, I think as things move forward and progress and we start to see innovation from other projects uh, all around the space, uh, it's going to make your project have to do something to become stronger. And that's what is going to be needed to bring in more people. So it's definitely win, win, win everywhere. Uh, and same thing, like you said, the other way around, Vivi comes out with a cool thing, uh, share it out, even if you're not in the project. And you're, if you're coming here from one of our software, our, our Cryptoids videos, uh, and like we said, it's all love all around and we need that. We need that for the space. Yeah, and just let us know below as well. Like, do you agree with West Superstar West that uh, VV maybe should actually consider a you know influencer campaign very similar to what we saw with iJustine, or do you think that it's okay? They, they don't need to rush into it and they can wait. There's really no, it's not a big deal, and they can wait till later. So we want to hear your thoughts. Let us know below. And guys, if you haven't already, don't forget become a superstar. Smash the subscribe button. Join the superstar fam. You know what? If you're supporting any of these projects, you gotta support the superstar fam too. Make sure you smash the subscribe button, hit the bell notification button. So you get every single video every single day. Also, Superstar VIP is two ninety a month. Get a start with your name, access our spreadsheets, giveaways, merch. Guys, we appreciate you so much. Thank you for all your support. Take care, and we'll see you next one. Bye bye. Love, Love you. you. Bye.